it's akin to being a lamp that you choose to plug in. You're plugged into your source, to the light of you, the divinity of you. And when the light is shining, other people can see in their darkness. What do you think are some good qualities of the ego, if there are any? Well, the first thing about the ego is that it's the voice of separation. So it allows for you to think that you're separate from other people enough to be here to engage with life on planet Earth. You're separate from the rock. You're separate from the food. You're separate from your neighbor. You're separate from your friends, your spouse. And then you can engage with them in loving ways that begin to awaken you to the truth of you and allow for you to express very tangibly these qualities of your divinity. So if you're largely transcendent of the ego, the voice of separation, and you're just seeing it now as the voice that allows for you to see yourself in a world where there's a this and a that and engage with those things, then there's a good reason to have an ego. It allows for you to have enough of an awareness of you being separate from other people to engage with life. The other thing is that it allows for you to show up in service of others, that you can see their dilemma from a place of connectivity where you get it. This is all of us experiencing the human condition that we believe we're separate and in separate bodies, some of us more so. And the people who believe that their only bodies are only separate are experiencing a great deal of pain a lot of the time. Either pain, the pain of competition, the pain of striving, and the, the pain of needing to become or be something someday, some way out there in the future or transcend a past where they have had problems. Everyone's in this human condition that somehow has to be transcended. So when you're connected and you understand that we're all in this boat together, that any one of us who actually can stay connected to the divinity of them and stay awake and committed to that in all circumstances is allowing themselves to illuminate life for the other people who can be in the midst of that challenging circumstance and in the throes of pain that separation causes. It's akin to being a lamp that you choose to plug in. You're plugged into your source, to the light of you, the divinity of you. And when the light is shining, other people can see in their darkness. So it's not this effort-filled thing, this kind of service from a place of connectivity is more like a shining of your light into circumstances that can seem dark or challenging, being connected in a place where people are feeling largely separate. And that connection is a natural outflowing to them that makes them feel connected as well. When you're, when you're truly connected, it doesn't feel like I'm better than you or I'll fix you or I'll change you. It feels like, let me share this, this experience of being able to be at one and at peace right now, even in challenging circumstances. It's everyone's capacity, but only our capacity if we allow for ourselves to connect first to who we truly are, and then address the world from this place of connectivity. Then all of the separation is easily transformed and connected via our connection to the source of us.